Hello everybody, Jeff Lemieux, really excited to be joined today by the New England Revolution's newest arrival forward, Giacomo Rioni, who arrives as a designated player from Juventus. Giacomo, first of all, let me be the 100th person to welcome you to New England. Thank you. I gotta say too, it's not normally this hot in New England. We're going through a little bit of a heat wave right now. How are you dealing with the, the heat the first day? Yeah, very hot to be honest, yeah. They told me that was a different uh, weather, but uh, I said, okay, we will see. But yeah, you know, was uh, was hot, yeah, it's hot. But we are in summer, so uh, it's like uh, just in Italy. I'm learning about this, so I don't have problem. Yeah. It's not normal, it'll cool off. Okay, so here it's not normal. <laughs> it's not, not this normal, no. I have to ask about your airport arrival on Friday, because when you got to Logan Airport, came through the international arrivals, there were a bunch of Revolution fans there to greet you, so, were you expecting anything like that? And what was that experience like for you to be greeted by Revolution fans? To be honest, no, because it was my first time of my career. Uh, to, I, I, I'm not used to learn about this. And I appreciate a lot what they did for me. And uh, I was happy, to be honest, because uh, you know it was my first time and my first time in America. So I was really, really, really happy. And I have to say thank you to the fans that they came on this day. And to the other, I will say, we will see on the stadium, of course. That was your introduction to the fans. Since then, you've had a few days to kind of settle in to the area. You got to meet your teammates today, get out on the training ground. How have the first few days been for you? What was the welcome like from your teammates in the locker room today? Very nice, very nice because uh, I know it from uh, all the people that they work around. They told me that uh, the teammates the people into the to, to the dressing room they are very very nice and it was true they all they they grace with me they 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 said uh, welcome Giacomo and I was really happy because you know it's important for one player when came in a new team in a new state a new country you know in a new league and uh, yeah I'm happy for this and uh, you know I can't wait now to start uh, the league, to start the games, and, uh, and I think I'm happy for this, really. And you're still a pretty young player, 23 years old. You're coming off a great season in the Austrian Bundesliga, 19 goals to tie for the league lead. So I know this is something you've kind of talked about a little bit today, but what really sold you on the idea of coming to MLS and coming to the Revolution? Why was this the right move for you right now at this stage? Well, uh, to be honest, start everything for a call from the trainer, from Bruce, uh, from the coach. Uh, it came, uh, you know, the call came when I was in vacation. And, you know, for a player to see that the coach believes in you, trusts in you, wants you, it's important, you know. And all the people around, they works a lot to buy me, you know. And this for a player, it's important because I feel uh, appreciated. Uh, I saw that, uh, you know, they saw my quality, what I did in Austria. Uh, I finished, uh, you know, the season there with the top goal scorer. So, you know, it was important to me to, to do the right step of my career. And I think that uh, this step, what I did, it would be great. Where were you on vacation when you got that call? I was in Maldives. <laughs> I was in Maldives, yeah, I was, uh, I was with my girlfriend. And, uh, you know, my manager calls me, you know, in, here, in, here in America was like morning, there was like one in the night and Italy was like in the evening. So, you know, uh, we, we, we had to decide the time and said, okay, let, let they, they call directly because, you know, like what I said for the play, it's very important when one sport director uh, coach calls you, you know, it's, it's important. This is why, you know, I said yes to come directly here. And I know you've been all around Europe, you've played in different countries in Europe, but your whole career to this point has been based in Europe. So this coming to the United States is a, a whole new challenge, a whole new adventure. What are you looking forward to most about kind of taking on this, this new adventure in the United States? Well, yeah, I know that it will be a amazing experience because not just in the football, but the life. Because America, I think it's the dream for everybody to come here, to live, to, to look beautiful uh, places like Boston now in this moment. But uh, about the football, that is the most important things for me. Of course, I want to continue to, to do well, to continue uh, where I finish last season in Austria. So to score goals and to help the team that for me is the most important. And having not yet played in MLS, but I'm assuming having some sort of background 
with the league. What are kind of your impressions of the league now, sort of your expectations before you've had a chance to actually play in the league? I mean, I think uh, the, the league is going uh, better and better every year. Um, I see a lot of uh, young players that they are coming here. They do well and they have, to, they have the opportunity to go uh, in Europe again or in another state, you know. And, uh, and you know, uh, every year they are, going, they are coming a lot of players with quality and I think that this is the key, you know, uh, all for the player to choose the, the, the league or not. And, uh, and you know, I saw these things, I saw that Adams, he did very well here. They speak good about him, so I'm happy to replace him and, uh, and nothing now. I have to think just uh, to, to add the team, to, to think about the, the football and uh, to score goals. Have you had a chance to watch any Revolution games yet? Yeah, so with Philadelphia I saw because, you know, I had the channel in the TV here, I was here. But before, no, just the update in the, um, in the telephone. Like in New York, I was updating the penalty panel. I said, what, what is going on? <laughs> we had, <laughs> what game. we were all thinking too, what is yeah. going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw after that we lose, but I said, okay. We were unlucky because we went 1-0. We had the opportunity to score the second. And, uh, you know, uh, two situation, bad situation. Uh, we did, you know, small mistakes, but, you know, can happen at this in the football. Can happen it. We have just to, to, to maintain the calm and to, to have more self confidence because I think that the team is very good, very good, very good. Uh, we have a lot of players with quality, uh, with experience, so we have to think uh, about Saturday now to win. And what have your conversations been like with Bruce Arena about sort of the expectations coming into the team at this stage of the season? Because the team is at a very important part of the year with 14 games left some really important games coming up but obviously there's going to be an adjustment process for you sort of getting used to everything so what have the conversations been like with Bruce about kind of those those early expectations yeah well uh, he was explaining me all the the things around uh, you know the pitch all the training uh, center all the facility center uh, he explained me that uh, you know they, are, they looks me a lot during the, the season. Uh, they, they, that they likes me, and, uh, and you know they, he, he was explaining me everything you know about uh, about the training, about uh, about the gym, you know everything that it works to the you know to the football, and uh, and you know I was speaking within 10, 15 minutes, and uh, it was a good good uh, conversation with with the coach. How much does speaking the language and speaking English just kind of help that whole process of getting getting acclimated to everything? It's normal that if you speak English, I think it's uh, it's important. But I think that when you are in the pitch, it exists just one language to play football. So I think this. So I don't have problem if you know someone don't speak English. But I see that a lot of guy, I think all of the guy speak English. So. Uh, I speak just I also Spanish, so with, with Gustavo that I know that he don't like a little bit English. <laughs> I know this, yeah, but I can speak also Spanish with Gustavo, so it's not a problem. But uh, yeah, I think that it's important that we understand each other. Did you learn English and Spanish just growing up in school? In Italy? Yeah, in, uh, yeah, English and, uh, and Spanish in school I finished when I was 18. And you know, last season I went in Austria and Germany was a little bit difficult to to learn, so I, I I communicated to the staff that it was better English, you know, because uh, I, I thought that it was better also for my future and for the present that was in Austria in this moment. And uh, you know, all the season to speak English, I, I start to learn more the things, and uh, and that's it. Just watching your highlight package, you seem to be able to score in a lot of different ways. There are headed goals, left-footed goals, right-footed goals inside the box, outside the box. I know it can be tough to kind of talk about yourself as a player, but what do you kind of feel like are your strengths that you can bring to the team in terms of kind of that goal scoring ability? Yeah, it's, when you score all these uh, goals, it's because you work a lot during the, the season, during the week, every day. And this is why what I did in Austria. Every day I, I try to, to push myself a lot, a lot, a lot, and try to learn to, to shoot with the right because I'm left left side I try to, to shoot with the, with the head and uh, so you know when you start to score these different goals uh, you feel you know you feel good because uh, you can say in your mind okay Giacomo you are doing the right things continue 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 to push because you will have a beautiful moments and this is what's happening in Austria and 
and this is, is this is what uh, I have to continue to do also here every day to to help the team to try to learn every day something because I'm young I have a lot of time to learn a lot again so I will I just uh, know that uh, I have uh, to, to work and to, to help the team and finally you've been given the number nine shirt here in New England that's obviously an important number in the game of soccer what does that mean to you to be given the number nine shirt yeah it's uh, it was always my favorite number you know but in different clubs you know you can find someone that has already so it's for me the number nine is you know the classic uh, striker you know of uh, European striker you know and um, I like the number I like the number last last season I scored a lot of goals with number nine so I said it will be nice also here in, uh, in, uh, in America to use the number nine. Well, Giacomo, we hope to see you score a lot of goals in the number nine Thank here you. in New England. I Thank you so it. much.